Hey everybody, back again. It's uh, Wednesday evening. Doing one inside. I was busy today. Didn't get a chance to get out to the park. And uh, Anyway, when I was at the store yesterday, I was looking for a sampler pack, maybe something to try. And uh, since I tried uh, a Shell's beer oh, a few weeks back, not that long ago, um, it was one of their special release beers though. Thought it was pretty darn good and I never tried any of their regular beers, so looking for a sampler pack and I saw they had one and it had six uh, six beers, two of each so it's the way sampler pack should be in my opinion when you got four each of three or three each of four that's just that's not enough two each of six is great so I, I, I had one of these last night to, just to get some initial impressions and everything so the first one I'm going to do is their uh, Hopfen Malts I don't think that's a real word. I googled that word. The only thing that came up was this beer. Um, it says, from the website, it says, Introducing Hopfen Malts, a commemorative beer for the 150th anniversary of the August Shell Brewing Company. Hopfen Malts was part of uh, the Anniversary Draft Series, a collection of eight single-batch, limited-release brews which took place over the past two years. Fans were asked to go online and vote for their favorite in the series, with the winner becoming the commemorative beer for the sesquicentennial year. The votes are in and the fans have spoken. So let, so join us as we raise a glass and celebrate 150 years of brewing history with Shell's Hopfen Malts Prosit. Hopfen Malts exclamation point Prosit exclamation point. Hopfen Malts incorporates the elegant drinkability of a Pilsner, the bready of maltiness of a Vienna Lager, and the hopping of a pale ale. The malty backbone is beautifully balanced by a bright citrusy hop aroma and bitterness. Then we log it for an extended period of time to give it a crisp dry finish. Um, they call it an amber lager. Comes in at 4.9% ABV. Um, somewhere on the, on the glass here, or on the bottle here, it says there is the second oldest, the August Shell Brewing Company is the second oldest family owned brewery in the United States. So, sounds like an interesting beer. I'm not sure. Um, Description doesn't sound super great, but um, anyway, there it is. Got a new new cap. I don't have an August Shell cap. So, they're out of New Ulm, Minnesota. Use my BB Barfly, save the cap for, uh, save the cap for my collection. Let's get this sucker in the glass and see what we've got. That's a light, nice looking beer. It's a almost orange, um, very clear, a lot of carbonation streaming up. Got a couple fingers of a, a very foamy white head, uh, a real creamy white head actually, um, creamy foam. Um, decent looking beer. Let's get a nose on it, see what we have. Okay, are you getting that? That clean yacht lager yeast right up front, little 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 light malt, um, getting some spicy hops, maybe a little citrusy, a little piney in there. You got a biscuity, uh, kind of a biscuity malt uh, in the background. Um, maybe a little floral hops too mixed in with those um, citrus piney hops. Just a hint of nuttiness. Um, it's not a real strong flavor. Everything's kind of light, but um, it's a decent smelling beer. So let's get a mouth on it and see what it, see what it tastes like. Okay, you get more, more flavor than you expect from the aroma. That's for sure. Uh, you get a decent ba balance of um, that graininess and citrus and floral hops. Um, definitely a little more malt forward than actually the, the smell is. The, the malt comes in first and then you get those hops on the kind of herbal, herbal hops on the finish. A little toast caramel with the, with the maltiness, but, um, Piney, floral, fruity hops on the 
unfinished. This is a decent, um, decent, uh, nice hoppy uh, lager. It's uh, probably the hoppiest lager I've ever had. Got a light, crisp mouthfeel. You know, this would be really good, uh, really good warm, hot weather beer. It was cool and windy all day today, and that's also one of the reasons I didn't get out. I know my camera doesn't work too well when there's a lot of wind, there's a lot of noise. I've had a few videos like that. But so far, so so good. So uh, let me sit and let's just warm up a bit, and I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been uh, 20 minutes or so. Um, this is a decent drinkable beer. Um, is it outstanding? No. Um, I notice as it's warmed up, uh, the maltiness has come a little more f forward on the aroma. And a lot more forward on the taste. But other than that, not a lot has changed. There's still a nice hoppiness. I, I, I think I'll still say this is probably one of the the hoppiest uh, lagers I've ever had. Um, I wasn't real expecting a whole lot, but I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It's a good drinkable beer. This would make a great, I don't know what it costs for a six pack or 12 pack, but this would make a great, uh, great hot weather lawnmower beer or a backyard party beer or something like that. It's um, it's like a hopped up Vienna lager. Um, if you picture like a Sam Adams Boston lager with a lot more hops, that's what you get. So I'm going to give the shells hopping malts. I'm going to give it a good, good solid seven out of ten. It's a decent drinkable beer. It's above average. It's, I wouldn't go out of your way for it, but if you see it, pick it up, give it a try. You might like it. Till next time, everybody. Cheers. Keep drinking good beer.